All right, guys, I recently got a product from Solo Scientific. It is the Aurora Fire Starter with a uh, super alloy blade. And I'm going to do a full review of this product and uh, you know, show you what it's all about. Give me a second, and uh, I'll be right back with you. All right, you. guys, before we get uh, cracking this thing open, I want to tell you a little bit about the product. Um, this is a uh, company made in uh, our product made in New York. Um, the company is a little over 10 years old, and I uh, just want to read off some information about this uh, Aurora Fire Starter. Um, if I remember correctly, this one is the um, Aurora Fire Starter uh, 2SA model. There is a, a 2SA model and a it's a four. 440C model and the difference is um, a little blade on the back and uh, I'll show that to you when we open this up uh, But just giving you some quick information. Um, this is a uh, ferro rod that has a, a magnesium content in it um, And it is inside a, a casing of aircraft aluminum. It also has an o-ring So what this does is um, it protects the ferro rod to prevent that buildup of the oxygenation so when you're striking your ferro rod, when that oxygenation gets on there, you have to end up scraping a lot of that off. So you're wasting part of your ferro rod just to be able to get a spark. So by putting it in a casing that is uh, airtight, you prevent that process and save more of your ferro rod. Uh, the ferro rod that is uh, in here throws sparks at 5,000 degrees. Uh, so it shouldn't be too, uh, too difficult to get much of anything lit. Um, and let's see that is pretty much um, uh, pretty much the the, uh, the specs about the product it is the Aurora fire starter 2SA and it has a never dull lifetime super alloy strike uh, striking blade made from tungsten carbide so that's the difference between the uh, 2SA and the 440C so let's open this thing up, get some measurements on it, and uh, check it out. I'm going to use the bushcrafter knife I made. Now, real quick, before we crack this thing open, um, on the website it says they have a new packaging uh, for this. It has a cardboard, car, uh, cardboard backing and uh, a little plastic uh, front. This right here is just fine for me. Um, it's just in a vacuum sealed, thick plastic comes with the fire starter and a cotton ball and so we're going to uh, open this thing up and uh, see what we have. Alright so comes with two cotton balls and the fire steel and this thing weighs nothing. Um, has a, a nice etching all the way around it so pretty easy to grip has a hole drilled into the top of it so you could put a lanyard in it and there is the never doll um, a blade at the end of it that functions as the striker also has a good o-ring between the ferro rod uh, case, ca casing and the, uh, the pin that holds the top the lid um, also inside here are the uh, instructions or information about the product and uh, ways that you can use the fire starter. Good information. Alright, so we're going to unscrew this here. Unscrews very easily. Looks like it has been glued or epoxied inside of this um, lid. Let's get a overall length of it sealed up. All right, our overall length is three and a half inches. And our ferro rod length one and three quarter inches all right so uh, let's check this uh this out you can take a look at the the back end of it there's a little bit of a groove and that groove kind of indicates 
uh, that's the side that you're going to be striking with. So you just take that and you can throw your sparks with that there. Alright, uh, got a couple little items we're going to use here. I'm actually just going to pinch off a small portion of the cotton ball. We're going to see how it does on it. Alright, so it doesn't look like you guys can see that in the video, so let me adjust the camera here for you. Alright, let's try this again. There's the cotton ball. That took quite easily. <laughs> Not getting it out. Alright, so the next item we're going to review, uh, use it on is um, uh, birch bark. You know, birch doesn't grow naturally here in Texas. Um, but I have collected some river birch over time and we'll see how this rod does on it. Processing's bad on my part, and that's not the rod. on the birch. All right, next thing I'm going to try it on is a piece of char cloth made out of blue jeans. This one will probably be the easiest. See that piece of char cloth going? Took that quite easily. And now I'm going to use one of the tenders that I made, of the wax with the um, citronella oil in it. So the easiest way to do with these things is split them open. There you go. Alright guys, we got uh, the Aurora fire starter goes back into its case, add a lanyard to it, looks like that little blade there does a great job as a striker, the, the rod looks to be like a good rod, um, any flaw we had in demonstrating it was my fault, not this product's, 
So I would say that this is a uh, good investment. Um, if I remember correctly, this has been uh, endorsed. Um, I can't remember if it said the Navy SEALs or something like that. Uh, but um, this is a great product in my opinion, guys. So uh, go check out soloscientific.com. Check out some of the products he has. Um, I have another product that I'll be reviewing and demonstrating here soon. Um, it's one that uses the power of the sun. So you actually don't use any of your resources. But currently, it's raining. So as soon as that sun pops back out, I'll uh, demonstrate and show you that product as well. So go check out Solo Scientific and let them know Wilderness Camp 85 sent you. Thanks for watching. God bless.